Hi, this is Jordan Westengard. I'm the Quality Assurance and Research and Development Manager here at Ward Laboratories, and I'm here to talk a little bit about what the Brewers Test Kit has to offer independent brewers and other large brewers. Um, first off, we at Ward Laboratories try to make it as easy as possible for you to get your test results. So what we have to offer is a prepackaged kit. All you have to do is go onto the website, the link will be in the description, and go on there, order it, it'll ship out to you. Then once you get the kit, you take it apart, you get the water bottle, you fill it up, you put it back in the box, slap on the return postage, and drop it off at a FedEx station. Secondly, our Brewer's Water Kit offers a pretty substantial amount of information. So you get bicarbonate, calcium, chloride, iron, magnesium, nitrate, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, sulfate, a total hardness calculation, total alkalinity, electroconductivity, pH, and a calculated to total dissolved solids. So that's a lot of information. Now what can that do for you? So for those of you who like to brew to a uh, region-specific water profile, like a West Coast IPA, you know that you need that sulfate to chloride range for the mouthfeel. So you need that ratio to be somewhere in the three to five to one, so say a 150 to 50 part per million ratio of sulfate to chloride for that specific taste and mouthfeel. Well, our analysis can help you determine where you're at and then a little bit of math can help you figure out what you need to add or subtract from your profile to get that mix. Also, if you're brewing a stout, you know that you don't hardly want any sulfate at all. So our analysis will help you there too. And even if you are using an RO system to you know, remove everything and then replace with minerals, it's a good thing to test your RO water just to make sure that your filters are getting out everything that they say they're getting out. Um, an interesting idea as well is like if you have a unique tap water profile in your city or in, around your home, it's good to test those things so that way even if you are using an RO to filter out some of that, well maybe you can use a ratio of your tap water and your RO system to get a nice balance so that way you're not having to purchase so many replacement chemicals while you're brewing these specific region specific beers. So it's always good to know your tap and RO water profile. Another reminder is it's good to note that city water profiles can change over time. So to stay sane, I'd recommend testing every six months to a year. This way, if something does change in your city's water system, you're knowing about it. If you're getting less calcium from your tap water than you used to, well, then you know and you can supplement for that change. So I hope you found all this information valuable. And if you want to talk about it more, um, you can reach me either by phone or by email. All that contact information will be in the description below. Um, again, you can find a Brewer's Test Kit link uh, in the description below or at wardlab.com. Uh, I'm Jordan Westengard, and this has been your Tuesday Thoughts.